I miss telling selling you guys a garden, but look at that bad boy. Has it filled in? It's looking pretty good, huh? Have y'all can y'all notice? Do y'all notice the difference? Okay, so I tried an experiment today. Uh, this this year, I um, so let me do move this pot. Ignore. I let this broccolini sprout uh, sprout go to seed bolt. Uh, but here's a tomato plant, right? And at the bottom of the tomato plant, I I put a pea, a sugar snap pea, a, su a sugar pea, and um, thinking that's a nitrogen fixer, uh, the tomato plant's a heavy feeder, maybe that um, this will help the tomato plant grow, which is doing really well. It's got its like first little flowers, no tomatoes yet. Oh, there's some little tomatoes. These are the sun sugar tomatoes. They're the small little, here they are. Sun sugar tomatoes. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, so you can, here's the peas. You can totally take these pea leaves and, um, and eat the pea leaves but the, you see it's starting to die off and I, I've got a couple of pea, sh, pea pods they're small <clears throat> you can eat pea pods at any size this is a little small and I ate one earlier but I'm gonna tell you one reason to garden there is nothing better I mean I know you guys love candy I know you guys love cakes and cookies and chips and stuff like that but seriously, there's nothing better than your own fresh peas right out of the garden. It's like, Alice Fowler said it best. It's like a little piece of heaven, man. It is so delicious. Okay, one more, one more tomato. Now, you might have this issue. Um, this is the tastier tomato, which I've never grown before and I looked it up and it's a bushing variety so yeah I wouldn't trellis this and you can see I got a lot of nice little cherry sized tomatoes um, that have turned red surprisingly no snails or bugs have gotten into them yet so I'll need to cut those today but here's the dilemma because of how I plant these um, it's fallen over I think or is it supposed to do this? Answer is I don't know because I haven't really grown these. So I'm thinking about staking this up just to get to the tomatoes off the ground. But what do you guys think? Are you familiar with bushing varieties? You know, here's that German queen that I've done videos on before. And you can, you can see how tall this German queen has grown up. And I think its first little flower pods are right here so i'm going to end up taking up all of these leaves all the way up which leaves me a ton of space at the bottom and i've got bee balm growing there i've got borage over there growing neighbor gave me bitter melon from his mo mom's garden but so i just wanted to show you that sometimes in the garden you know you you these things happen where like you just don't know what to do you know but it's still gonna be hey, you know what I know some of y'all are dying. Let me see. Let me grab this this one right here. Right off the ground. Watch this. So, <clears throat> right off the ground. It's soft. Succulent. This is breakfast for Dr. V. So people sit there and go, but are you breaking a fast? If I do that, are you breaking a fast? Literally, I didn't wash it. Just kind of wiped it a little clean on my blue jeans. Mm, explosion. That's perfect. Perfect tomato flavor. Not super sweet. Not super tomatoey. That would be a nice little nice little snack right there, man. Seriously, just a little salt on that. Can't beat it. 